There's no coming back from this. We're done. My name is Lord Frank. I'm a voice of an artist and an actor. Well, working in Hollywood, I mean, we're truly restricted in so many things. Uh, maybe f the funding or the locations or, you know, things like that. If you speak to any working actor, professional actor, in, in whatever it may be, they say when you ask them what helps you get into character, they will say the location, the costumes, you know, things like that. But we don't have the pleasure or the privilege or, of having those things. So uh, those are challenging. So we have to go an extra mile as actors to really get into characters because you're wearing your own clothes. You're being in locations that you've seen so many times. So um, I think those are the challenging things. And also not being free to really express yourself creatively to the extent of your abilities. So that's one of the challenges, a few of the challenges. Presently, you know, um, there are things in the, uh, in the pipeline, as they say, but my primary, primary job is a voice for artists, so I'm always doing one script or the other. As a matter of fact, before I came here, I was in my studio recording something. It all started as a, a child, you know, I just loved to perform. Back in the day, nobody would probably believe this if I told you this, but I used to enter dance competitions back in the day. So I had the, uh, the desire to perform and to showcase my talents, and it just walked into uh, being an actor or a dancer, whatever, maybe. As, as a matter of fact, I always wanted to do comedy, and that's why I ended up in squatters. Um, so I had this job in the States, and every time, almost every time, I was in a conversation with someone, they'll always reference my voice. So many times, like unexpectedly, we would just start talking about the voice. I said, well, the universe is trying to tell me something. So here I am doing voice work and getting paid for it. Um, since 2011, September 2011, when I came back to Lagos, Nigeria, um, just maybe that the remainder of, remainder of that year, I just took to really settle in into the country. Uh, because I've been way, away for such a long time. Now, from 2012 onwards, things really started to pick up in 2013. From that moment, I haven't done anything else besides voice and acting. So if, you, if you're asking yourself, is there money to be made in this industry? Yes, there is money to be made. In politics? Um, it depends on... <laughs> if you're going to be asking me further questions along with that, um, no, I don't try to get into politics too much. Oh boy, funny enough, um, and this is probably embarrassing, I was at uh, Four Points, they were had this wine tasting event they, were, they had there, and I was sitting downstairs and a gentleman walked up to me, uh, one of these big people, walked up to me and he, and he said, oh, I remember you, you're from the governor, what is the name of your character again? I am the governor's chief of staff, you idiot! I understand that everyone that goes in there needs a security clearance. I am the governor's chief of staff! And I went blank. I couldn't remember the name of the character. <laughs> so, but I, I really enjoyed that role. You know, I think it suited me perfectly. I played the, um, what is it, uh, head of staff. Yeah, chief of staff, sorry, chief of staff for the governor of that particular uh, series. So I really enjoyed my time playing that role. The most important thing you should have is passion. Deeper than anything, passion is the horse that pulls the cart. Because if you go for training, it is true you need some level of training, but most importantly, you need more than anything is passion. Because without that horse to pull the cart, you're not going anywhere. And the reason I say that is because in this industry, it's very competitive. Every time you, you go to a door, it's shot in your face, you get to know what are you doing there. If you don't have the passion to keep on going, you'll just stop. So you have to ask yourself, do I really have a passion for this thing? Is it fun to me? Would I do it without being paid? Those are the kind of questions you should, you should first and foremost ask yourself. And then, do you really have what it takes? And you can work on that later on. But first and foremost, ask yourself, do you have a passion for it?